In the lead-up to Fallout's climactic Great War, pre-war America and the rest of the world was suffering. The scarcity of resources, coupled with the looming threat of nuclear war, pushed society to develop alternative energy resources. Among the companies promising hope, change, and a better tomorrow was Mass Fusion, Boston's premier energy distributor. Mass Fusion's goal was a tremendous one, with the company focusing on developing and providing clean nuclear fusion energy to the people of Boston. And in a world on the brink of destruction, this promise sparked a glimmer of hope. However, behind these lofty goals and commitments to creating a cleaner world, Mass Fusion hid a disastrous secret. This is the story of Fallout's biggest lie, Mass Fusion's ultimate deception. Background But first, a bit of background. Leading up to the Great War around the 2050s, the entire world was struggling. The global political landscape was strained as tensions between countries started to escalate with them competing for shared resources. The resource wars, as they were called, intensified as countries fought over the last reserves of oil, uranium, food, and what have you, leading to the collapse of many countries and widespread global unrest for those who had yet to collapse. Things were looking quite dire. Even the great US of A was not immune to this unrest. The push for automation to replace labor jobs led to economic uncertainty for many families. Limited nuclear exchanges in the Middle East and the spread of the new plague at home led to unrest and a general sense of fear amongst many Americans. Food shortages led to fatal riots. Even the world's greatest superpower was not immune to the suffering. A sustainable energy solution was needed, and this is where mass fusion comes in. Mass fusion. Mass fusion's journey into the energy industry was spearheaded by its founder, Carl Oslo, who established the company in 2043. With a keen eye for the escalating global need for power solutions, mass fusion swiftly rose to prominence as the primary provider of energy solutions in the Boston area. This ascent was fueled by the intense competition among nations for the ever-diminishing pool of resources, presenting mass fusion with an opportune moment to meet the escalating demand for reliable and sustainable power. The company solidified its reputation through their concentrated efforts on cutting-edge energy technologies. A substantial portion of Mass Fusion's resources was directed towards nuclear research, with a particular emphasis on the potential of nuclear fusion. This ambitious endeavor, known as the Clean Power Initiative, aimed to harness the revolutionary power of nuclear fusion, promising a future featuring virtually limitless, environmentally friendly, and sustainable energy. In 2053, the culmination of Mass Fusion's vision materialized as the Clean Power Initiative came to life, marking a significant milestone in the company's history. The initiative successfully harnessed nuclear fusion energy to power substantial portions of Boston. The city, once grappling with the challenges of resource scarcity, was now powered by clean fusion energy. Or so it seemed. The Deception However, behind this image of progress and innovation lies a more dubious reality. As mass fusion attempted to conquer the challenge of achieving nuclear fusion on a large scale, the company found itself in a bit of a pickle. Rather than openly acknowledging the limitations and struggles of harnessing fusion technology, mass fusion committed themselves to a dastardly lie. In a calculated move driven by what would seem to be financial motivations, the company chose to market and sell what I can only assume to be nuclear fission energy, under the guise of fusion. 
thus orchestrating one of the biggest deceptions in the Fallout universe. This decision, born out of what would seem to be corporate greed, would have far-reaching consequences, not only shaping Mass Fusion's deceptive legacy, but also leaving a dark spot on not only the pre-war world, but also the post-apocalyptic landscape that followed the Great War. Fusion vs. Fission To truly understand the intentional blunder of mass fusion, we first need to dissect the differences between nuclear fission energy and nuclear fusion energy. Nuclear fusion and nuclear fission are two distinct processes that release energy through the alteration of atomic nuclei. The nuclear fission process involves splitting the nucleus of an atom into two smaller fragments. This split releases a significant amount of energy. Plutonium and uranium are commonly used for fission reactions in nuclear power plants. This is the process that has been historically used in nuclear power plants on Earth. And while it is a useful form of energy that is harnessed across the globe, it does come with a nuclear waste problem, as the products of fission tend to be quite radioactive. It provides a great deal of power, at the cost of having to store nuclear waste somewhere. With nuclear fusion, however, lighter atomic nuclei are combined to form a heavier nucleus. The difference in mass between the reactants and products results in the release of a large amount of energy in the process. Fun fact, this is the same process that powers the sun. It not only tends to be safer than fission energy, but also comes with a marked reduction in radioactivity during operation and comes with very little nuclear waste. Now, why is the distinction so important? Why does it matter which nuclear reaction takes place? Nuclear power is nuclear power, right? Well, no. Many energy sources, like nuclear or fossil fuels, have a resource cost associated with them. Nuclear power requires uranium and plutonium. Fossil fuels require oil, natural gas, and the likes. The world of Fallout just so happens to have a significant resource shortage of just about everything, but notably oil and uranium. A different energy solution is needed. So instead of relying on uranium reactions to power nuclear power plants, more abundant nuclear products can be used instead. And as nuclear fusion can produce greater amounts of energy for minimal waste, it could very well be the world-saving technology that could put an end to the resource wars. Countries could use this technology to replace energy sources that rely on fuel that's becoming more scarce by the day. It is potentially world-saving. Mass Fusion was seemingly aware of their deception, as their Clean Power Initiative promised clean nuclear fusion energy to the people of Boston. However, it's likely that practical and economic challenges hindered the widespread implementation of nuclear fusion. It requires high temperatures and pressures, conditions difficult and expensive to replicate on a large scale. This was the truth that Mass Fusion faced. The Clean Power Initiative, while appealing and potentially world-saving, was not yet a viable reality. So, rather than owning up to not having the technology available to harness nuclear fusion energy, Mass Fusion did the best with what they had, all while maintaining the ruse of clean fusion energy. Consequences. Now, despite never openly admitting to the sale of nuclear fission energy and the implementation of nuclear fission technology in any terminals or correspondence in-game, we can only assume that they were harvesting the power of nuclear fission. Some circumstantial evidence of this intentional deception can be found in the game. A terminal entry in the mass fusion building addresses customer complaints. It reads, Many individuals assume that the fusion distribution box in their home may present a danger to its occupants. 
While the device does give off trace amounts of radiation, we can assure you that it is completely safe. If you're experiencing the following symptoms, we give you our word that they are in no way related to our clean power technology. Nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, headache, fever, dizziness and disorientation, weakness, fatigue, hair loss, poor wound healing, low blood pressure, skin flaking, or burns. One would think that a distribution box that administers nuclear fusion power, the type of nuclear power that comes with relatively small amounts of radioactivity, wouldn't cause this massive list of symptoms. While a means of power like fission, one that does emit more radioactivity, just might. It's quite suspicious. Aside from the terminal entry, two notable locations related to mass fusion can be found in-game. The mass fusion disposal site and the mass fusion containment shed. The mass fusion disposal site is a nuclear waste dumping site that sees barrels of radioactive waste being actively dumped into free and open water. One, fusion power shouldn't produce this amount of radioactive waste, and two, while submerging radioactive waste in water is a commonly used practice, the water is reinforced with thick, reinforced concrete and will never re-enter the Earth's water cycle, preventing rainwater from becoming dangerously radioactive. So not only is mass fusion duping its customers with the type of power they provide, but they're also covering their secret up in a dangerous way that would have far-reaching consequences. This radioactive pool will seep into the Earth's subgrade and soil. It'll evaporate into the clouds, turn into rainwater, and so forth. It's dangerously irresponsible. The second location is the mass fusion containment shed. It's here that mass fusion stored loads of industrial nuclear waste. While arguably better than the disposal site, it still comes with hazards of its own. A terminal entry reads, A hazardous material inspector stopped in today unannounced to check our operation. I started to feel like he was getting suspicious of what was actually going on around here. I told Mr. Feld, and he said if the inspector started to catch on, we needed to get rid of him. And he didn't mean ask him to go away. Well, he caught on. So we had to get rid of him. If anyone finds out what we did, they'll put me away for life. So it's quite clear that the company was up to no good, not complying with the region's hazardous waste standards. Out of fear of losing their license to operate or something, the site supervisor had the inspector killed. A deception so big that it leads to murder. And so, all this proves that mass fusion did intentionally deceive their customers and provide nuclear fission power instead of their namesake fusion power. This undertaking not only led to the death of at least one safety inspector, but also the countless customers who experienced the symptoms of radiation poisoning and the irreversible contamination of the environment. It is truly Fallout's biggest lie. Hope? However, despite this major world-altering lie, Behind the scenes, the company was still working towards developing nuclear fusion technology. Yes, they did lie to their customers, but hey, it was only meant to be a temporary lie. The research and development mass fusion was doing behind the scenes would finally come to fruition when they developed their first successful nuclear fusion reactor. At the center of this breakthrough was the beryllium agitator the igniter of the fusion reaction. This made large-scale sustainable nuclear fusion a reality. However, before others at mass fusion could realize the potential of their nuclear fusion reactor, it was discovered that founder Carl Oslo had struck a deal with the US military. Oslo planned to hand over the beryllium agitator to the army likely to be used to solve the war machine, Liberty Prime's, known power problems. This isn't confirmed in-game, but it makes sense that the military would want to get their hands on a powerful igniter to power their death bot. 
Those who protested Oslo's plans, like lead research scientist Dr. Noel Chandrich, were consequently fired. Mass Fusion truly had no plans to back their age-old promise of clean nuclear fusion energy for everyone. However, before the sale for the beryllium agitator could be finalized, tragedy would strike all of mankind. Air raid sirens across the country would sound, and the world-ending nuclear bombs would be launched, signaling the start of the apocalyptic Great War. And so, mass fusion would never get the chance to right their wrongs. The Great War would mark the end of society as it was once known. The people of Boston had been deceived, unknowingly scammed by a company that had sworn to do right. It is in part thanks to companies like Mass Fusion, companies who took advantage of dire times, that the United States, as well as the rest of the world, would never recover from global resource shortages. The beryllium agitator and nuclear fusion reactor technology would lay dormant for centuries advanced technology patiently waiting to be put to use. A silent reminder of not only how close humanity was to being saved, but also of the biggest lie in Fallout. But that's all from me today, folks. If you liked the video, be sure to share and subscribe. Join the Discord. Have a good rest of your day. Cheers. Don't give me that high and mighty attitude. Have you picked up a newspaper lately? There's a war going on out there, Doctor. And if our side's going to win, it needs all the help it can get. I can't believe what I'm hearing. Since when did science start taking sides? What did they promise you, Carl? Money? Political favors? A goddamn medal?